What is going on guys? Well, we have some pretty big changes coming to health and ammo that will show up in our update coming next week. We're told that now when equipped in a gadget slot, friendly players can interact with friendly medic supports to get health and ammo respectively. We had an image posted as well by the devs to give us an idea how this will look. So if you're on PC and you get close by a medic or support player, you can interact with them by pressing E and you'll be able to resupply yourself and get health if needed. This is an attempt to solve the long persistent problem of playing with medics and support players who have a hard time giving you health and ammo when you want it. Now there are a few details that the devs gave us in regards to this new feature, such as this only works if the player has specifically an ammo or medic crate in their inventory slot. So ammo pouches and health pouches will not give you as a medic or a support player the option to allow teammates to go up and interact with you, but you'll have to have crates in one of your slots instead. When it comes to the cooldown of interacting with these crates, it's all the same as if you'd interact with a normal crate on the ground. But when it comes to interacting with a support player, you will only get primary and secondary ammo when you interact. So you have to interact with an ammo crate on the ground if you want more than just primary and secondary ammo. There's also right now no points given to a support or medic player who has teammates come up to them and interact with them. However, that may change in the future as there may be something like 10 points given to a player, something along the lines of what you would get for spawning by players on the battlefield since they both have an indirect contribution and you don't want to completely reward players since it wasn't something that they were actively choosing to do. But at the same time, indirect or direct, it's still contribution to the battlefield. So we'll have to wait and see how the points evolve. But for right now, there won't be any points given to players interacting this way. This is all in a bigger response where DICE seems to be looking closely at the attrition system. Something that has been loved or hated in Battlefield 5. Florian, one of our devs, said that they're looking at health and ammo across the board with a priority on health at this point expect more changes moving forward which would make sense that health is the primary focus since battlefields in the past like bf1 kind of already had an attrition like system with ammo as you could eventually run out with ammo but when it came to health it would eventually regenerate not needing extra pouch to be carried around Let's remember that originally there were no plans to have you carry a health pouch, so originally the plan was in Battlefield 5 for you to go in and rely directly on your teammates or a supply station to heal you, but after some pushback, DICE gave us one health pouch that we still use today, which has seemed to not really handle the attrition perfectly, hence why they're looking more into it now. It does have me curious if they start to dial back the attrition more in Battlefield 5. I'm not sure how you guys feel about attrition, but personally for me, I don't think it works out too well in Battlefield games. I know that may be a bit controversial because I know a lot of players really want Battlefield to be realistic as possible and in some situations I do enjoy going as realistic as they can but in this scenario I think attrition actually hasn't been all too great of a move forward by DICE but let me know what you guys think about attrition and your thoughts on that do you prefer attrition on the battlefield or do you prefer it to be dialed back and maybe not there at all regards of what they do I'm just glad that they are looking into it finally because this definitely is meant to be looked at closely as it's such a huge part of playing and literally affects you constantly in the battlefield so it's just nice knowing that this is getting attention from dice with all that said though we are going to get a map indicator whenever you lay down ammo crates and health crates i'm not exactly sure if this is coming in this update but i'd imagine this is right around the corner so i'm pretty sure that we'll be seeing some improvements on that pretty soon and we'll also be seeing some improvements coming to when you lay down your uh, medic or health crate that it doesn't topple over all more efforts from dice to improve the visibility of you getting the medic crates on the battlefield now you'll be able to see them much easier on the ground and you're going to see them appear on your mini map so all this is really great stuff in my opinion and all things that were needed um, for improvements when it came to the attrition system in battlefield so good to see this stuff being worked on right now but that is it for you guys today again i always appreciate you guys being here i am living i'll catch you guys again later